Peace, family. So what you're looking at here is a, a group of police pigs, three of them, shooting a man with no legs as he ran away, killing him. Now, his name is Anthony Lowe, 36 years old, and he resides in California. Apparently, Anthony, Mr. Lowe, stabbed somebody with a butcher knife. Allegedly, he stabbed somebody with a butcher's knife earlier. When the police came, they tried to tase him. But tasing him was ineffective. Now, these pigs allege that he tried to throw the butcher's knife at them twice. Which means he never threw the butcher's knife. What, did he almost throw it and then thought about it and then tried to throw it? How does that work? So while he tried to run away on his stumps, pretty much, as we see, he has to put your knife in his hand, he tried to throw it, and they, they, they fired multiple shots and killed him. Now the reason I say that is because once he threw the butcher's knife, and it's no longer in his possession. He has no legs. He's not running fast or far. He is no actual threat. The weapon is out of his hand. His back is turned towards the police. He has nothing else to do damage with. So he's not a threat to anybody else. This is unnecessary. This is uncalled for. This is the pigs. These are the pigs' ways. If you don't like how I talk, you just don't like how I talk about pigs, but that's not going to change how I view them based on their action. Now, Anthony Lowe, Mr. Lowe, the reason his legs are the way they are is because of another altercation with police uh, before in his life. See, the problem is the policing system when, and I've tried to explain this on YouTube, but we have broken it down in class on Patreon. But I'm a nutshell this, okay? The problem with the policing system is that the, the, the officers are ignorant of the law. They have a, a complex when they uh, become officers beforehand. They have complexes, mental complexes, that translates into their job and the, the false sense of power understand that ignorance of the law is not only their fault but it's our fault there's something called consent understand that as long as you allow or we allow things to happen they will continue to happen that's called consent as well we do not stand up and protect one another we record and we upload for views and due to our ignorance of law we don't know how to correct the things that need to be corrected we don't have the backbone to do what's necessary because the 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 the, the, the driving force of law the legal system is fear and ignorance and we have plenty of that that we consent to that we allow so if a bully is bullying you and you allow him to you cannot complain when he bullies you and they know this and we know this at, at heart we just don't have the backbone to execute what we need to but either way it goes there is nothing okay with what happened to Mr. Lowe or to Mr. Nichols. Neither one of these occasions, and trust me, there are plenty daily that we should and could talk about. But neither one of these examples warranted the outcomes of their death. If I, if I have a weapon and I throw my weapon at you, I, know, I no longer hold a threat to you because you have my weapon. 
If there's five of you and one of me and I'm handcuffed and no threat, there should be no reason to beat me. There should be no reason to shoot a legless man <laughs> in any fashion. We have a serious problem and we have to get to the root. Shout out my man King Odds. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to King Odds' YouTube channel. A lot of great content, um, good discussions, and uh, a lot of eye-opening information from from true and honest perspectives. Make sure you get to the book of the blessings, family, and salute to the God King Odds, a dope brother, a woke brother, father, and an author of the little book of everything. Do me a favor, man. Join the family. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. And I want to give a silverback shout out to my brother, King Dumas, on this little book of everything. And it's packed from page to page with nothing but information that the people in the community needs. I don't know how he decided what goes in this book for each individual that he personally writes one for, but he knocked mine out of the park. Thank you, Brother King Dumas, and everybody should have this little book of everything, nothing but information. Thank you, brother. Much love. Y'all know who it is, Elijah Lamar, tapping in from the BMF TV series. I need everybody to go ahead and subscribe to King Oz's page right now. K-I-N-G-O-Z, King Oz. Dude got great content and dope information for you to go ahead and take in. Trust me, won't regret it. Subscribe.